Hi there. Welcome to another day of accountability. Mm-hmm. We're back at it again. We're back at it again. So, whew. let's start off with the counting and then we'll just go to the sauce. What did I do today? Well, after yesterday's video, I went on to do free code camps, node package manager exercises, which went pretty well. I dusted everything. I was planning on doing about three a day, but I dusted everything. Hence, once having had done that, I actually sacrificed reading on the Odin project, which was okay, you know? It's a fair trade, in all honesty. Today, I plan on doing Express and Node.js. Will I dust everything? I'll try to stick to three exercises, you know? Three exercises, that means Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we should be done, hopefully. But if we stretch beyond that, it's fine. Because after that, then we're left with Mongo, DBN, and Mongoose. Then we're done with the exercises. So I guess it's pretty fair for this month. But we'll just see how things go. Whew! I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit poofed. Because today I've been focusing on creating my friend's portfolio. Which has been okay. I still need to get some content from him. But I was like, okay, let me just play around with the sites, you know, play around with WordPress, play around with Squarespace. And yeah, now that I pretty much have a broad experience with CMS sites, specifically WordPress, Shopify, and what you might call this, and Squarespace, Wix, I've kind of experimented with before but not completely but yeah i just noticed that actually <laughs> i noticed the relevance of all these platforms yes and as a web developer how they all fit in instead of just creating stuff from scratch and because i'm on this journey of becoming a full stack developer i clearly see and i get a glimmer a glimmer of understanding as to why it is full stack developers are still relevant you know especially when you consider the internet as a whole and you start reading and you're just like whoa you can see that this rabbit hole runs deep you know at the end of the day developers are always gonna have to learn i saw it when i was out here busy with square spaces um trying to set up a local server local development theme a jiggy part of my language on my laptop and i was like yeah this is pretty similar to shopify in terms of the process and dealing with the cli but then i was like hmm yeah one thing's for sure now i have to learn about json t if i go down this path definitely still need to learn about uh shopify liquid once I'm there, and I notice that, you know what, I'll just deal with whatever I need to deal with when I'm there. One thing is for sure that I am learning right now is free code camp and becoming a full stack developer. And once I'm done with everything in the course, then I'll start to go into depth and a little more understanding and revision mm -hmm. when I'm creating my own personal projects. So, yeah, that's been about it, you know. So I just got lost in the sauce of that then after this i'm gonna go back instead of focusing on my on let's just say on setting up my freelance business i'm gonna do that after i do three exercises of express since i really have the express and node.js since i really have the laptop on it's like yo might as well once i shut it i shut it i'm done because, yeah, it isn't that hectic, you know? It's just taking notes and then understanding that, okay, cool. This week, I just have the base understanding what it is that I do have, what it is that I have set. I'll just reaffirm on that. The next week, it's like, okay, now we can start working on the new stuff, on the contracts, on the invoices, and all this other stuff that I can at the moment. And, yeah, that's the plan for the rest of the day, you know? I'll tell you how it goes tomorrow. So, yeah... Hey, could have gotten lost in the sauce, but hey, hey, 
you know you know when the stars are lines and then they're like nah man you know <laughs> there's no time for getting lost in the sauce for all of this and that mm -hmm. nah so that's about it so with that being said today's sauce I noticed that having an ideal can crush you, especially when you think that things are going to turn out a certain way, but due to per se your own inclinations, your vices, conditions, and circumstances, man, <laughs> if you're not careful and acknowledge what it is that you do, honor what it is that you do, then you're definitely not going to make progress. And that was my, realiz my realization today when I was out here on, on WordPress, right? And then my laptop had to restart because my keyboard was effing out. And, and then, you know, this and that, blase, blase. And I was like, okay, cool. Let's read a bit of the Odin project. Read a bit of the Odin project, got a little tired. Then my laptop came back on. Then I was like, okay, cool. We're back at it again. I was on WordPress for long, square space for too long. This is me at about 4 p.m. I plan to do this for like two, plus minus two hours. And I was like, you know what? It's fine. Because at the end of the day, at least, you know, I'm becoming more and more immersed in the internet. And my journey has begun. As time goes on, yes, I'll, I'll block coding to like four hours and then do the other stuff. But this isn't a hard set rule. As time goes on, when it needs to be hard set, it'll be hard set. But at least, you know, this gives me some sort of balance. And as I practice the sense of consciousness, I can see how progress manifests itself and I grab it. You know, hence we're journaling every day. Hence we out you, you know, we're writing in this diary. You know, it's not perfect, but nonetheless, hey. You see, on a day-to-day -day we're writing. Just to have some sort of, you know, direction. And it doesn't mean just because we have direction, we can't have a little bit of wiggle room. But as long as we're getting to the specific place at the specific time. And yes, as time goes on, we'll narrow the focus, narrow the focus, narrow the focus, narrow the focus until, you know, it's like this. But, you know, it's a practice. So that's one thing that I've noticed personally. And just aiming to continue in this great performance so that I have a great relationship with myself, which I feel like I'm developing as a developer. I can trust myself a lot more. I'm more, you know, I'm, yeah, you know, I'm finding my sense of being. So that's about it. That's all for today, kids. Stay blessed.